Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we're gonna finish up where we started yesterday. Uh, and we're gonna finish up this something in the water here. But before we go into that, uh, we got some names. Uh, I actually killed Malice uh, after I stopped recording the last episode. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, it was there. I didn't. I thought I had recording still going because I usually wait a few minutes afterwards. But uh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> I didn't. So I don't have footage of that. But uh, where the hell is this monkey? Um, uh, patriarch. But uh, definitely. Uh, well, I got him. And so we have the hunter achievement done now. So that was a good thing. Um, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, my gosh i didn't know how much longer that would take but we got that um i also made all their armor uh i they have full tier one now on my two boxes so uh, i had enough tokens and stuff laying around that i just went ahead and get that got that done and uh where is this guy fester backs up too where are you at? You are straight ahead. Alright. Not straight ahead of a foliage though. <laughs> you know what I need to do? I need to turn you damn mercenaries on because uh, I'll die. <laughs> I'll die and I won't even know why. I'll be like, what happened? Why do I suck so bad at this game? Uh, there we go. They're dying much faster too. Oh, better get a barrel. Alright, we got an achievement. There he is, right there. We're gonna just go straight for him. Pull everything with us. So all we care about is names, and if we see one, we have to kill them. Um, and I believe uh, it was the last episode, the other one. I wanted to do this quest in uh, in uh, the fear itself, right? I think I talked about that. And I have decided we're not gonna do that quest uh, in this series, uh, mostly because we'd have to do full <laughs> the full. Uh, progression through the entirety of House of Thule and while that's probably you know something worth doing everything is now at this point light blue until we get to the higher you know the later ones right uh, but there's gonna be a lot of things we do and I really don't want to dwell on that right now I'm gonna I have a series where I'm gonna be doing all the quests and all that stuff and I'm just going to save it for there. It's a really good quest and it will make more sense with the Sons of Thule than uh, trying to shoehorn, uh, shoehorn these guys into... Oh, hello. You all want to fight at once. Here, watch this. AoE. Let's get some AoE on these guys. Jump. Yeah, there you go, buddy. All right, we're going to kill all these guys because we don't like them. And we're, we're literally just trying to kill the name, and then once we have that, we'll move over to the uh, skeletons we need for that quest. But uh, there we go. Oh, hello! I hit the wrong button. Pulled another mob. That is that is the life of me, right? All right. We don't want the blighted blood anymore. We finished that quest. We are good there. Uh, but so yeah, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, the next. The next place we're going is Argoth. Uh, I found, so my intent to go to fear, the fear itself was to get a shield dog. Uh, turns out there is one right there in Argoth just waiting to be taken. Uh, it's just like, it's just like sitting there. Like it's on, it's on a mob that is just like, hey, come and kill me. And you know what that means? That means we're going to come and kill it. Um, we're going to spend some time in Argoth. Uh, doing that stuff. Uh, we might do the Mercenary of Argoth. I, I think I have that on the schedule. It doesn't seem too difficult. Uh, but we're only going to be doing that just to uh, have a list of things to kill. Right? Like, uh, our goal is going to be to get the Shield Dog uh, from the Tactician, I think it is. And then uh, we'll move on to a different zone. Uh, Valley of Lunai. Or Luna... Lunin? Luna? In, I think that's how you say it. I'm, I'm going to say Lunai. Uh, but who knows what it is actually is. If anybody does know how to say it, uh, please let me know. 
because I would really be interested in hearing that. All right, we got some stuff. All right, now we can head over to where we are. We got the names. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be killing three, nine <laughs> blood skeletons. Uh, maybe more, depending on how many uh, how many blood skeleton samples they drop. And of course, this didn't save. I don't know what is going on there. Load. There we go. There we go. Where are they? But uh, these are all undead, so they're just going to melt. Don't even have to think about them. Uh, but I think that's going to be the best, right? Argeth is the 90 to 95 expansion, and we are 92, so, like, we could we could definitely grind, and I definitely recommend grinding in our uh, House of Thule if uh, the Argus mobs are too hard, but I think, uh, I think we're going to have not much issues, right? We were in Resplendent Temple, and I was killing everything without even trying. We killed the name and Beast Domain, which is tier 2, at, like, 91, I think, so... I think we're, we're, we're doing well. Um, it's just, I think I kept getting overwhelmed in t Resplendent Temple trying to get the Pillars of Lar to finish that daily quest. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I think when we get to 93 or 94, we'll have no problem doing that. Because it is, that is the, like, the end expansion uh, stuff, right? You need one more. All right. Of course. Oh, is that another named right there? Is that another one? Do the do does Burrell shine upon us today? I think so. Burrell is such a good good god, but not as good as Thule. Thule is the best. He gives. Thule gives. See, he gives. We just got more blood samples. All right, you're done with that one. What is this? Liquid nightmare. We don't want that yet. Uh, let's see here. But I just want to finish out this quest because uh, unfinished achievements drive me insane. All right, whoa, whoa, hi, buddy. Wait your turn. There you go, good boy. Uh, this one goes to you. Yes, look at this name to just melt. That's how good we are now. All right, what do we get here? Terror infused battle skirt. Unexpected. Um, uh, no one needs it, so we're gonna try to sell that. <laughs> try to make some back some more money. As you can see, we're down to, uh, what is this, like, seven, seven hundred thousand after, uh, after all that, right? We started with a million whenever I gave it to them, and they've already blown that much platinum on spells. That is, that is the reality of the game. Uh, it's gonna, we, they're probably gonna have no money left at the end of this. I guarantee it. But, uh, I'm just, I was sick of farming, so I'm not, I'm not ever doing that again. And, uh, that's just how it is. I, every, every new character I start is gonna start with a million gold, or a million platinum. Because I'm not, I'm not wasting my time farming anything like that again. I was spent, I spent eight hours on a Saturday, killing hill giants for money, just to buy one spell. Like it's, it's pretty ridiculous, right? All right, let's do some uh, area jumpy. Come on, jumpy, jump, 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 jump. Nope, not up yet. I don't know where I put it on my bar. There you go, jumpy, jump. All right, that goes to me. Is there more of these skeletons? Like, we're getting into the Spectre territory, right? And then we get into that terrible name, Bloodbone territory. I hate that. I hate that one. <laughs> that, that knockback is just so annoying. All right, this one goes to you. I have a Lingering Spirit somewhere. So we just need one more. Yeah, we need one more. Now, one thing I haven't been doing that I probably should be doing is I don't sell the blue diamonds or diamonds. 
uh, or anything that goes into the trade skill bag, honestly. Um, but I do like I'm I'm like I'm on this like fence, right? And I'm like, should I? Should I do trade skills? Get him the Ralph Zeke ring, or Ralph Zek earring? You know, like I'm, I'm I'm looking at it. You know, I'm drooling over it, but I don't know if I should go through that effort. I don't think it would be as bad for me now because I have like like I've already done it most of it on Nomadrad, right? So I uh, I already know what I need to do. I need I know where I need to go. I can kind of craft all that stuff pretty easy. There we go. We got that. All right, let's get our bots back to the other side of the zone. So like I you know I have a good idea of what I need to do to get you know 300 is easy. Maxing out trophies, easy. Uh, as long as I do the trophies before <laughs> before I get over 50 skill, uh, I'll get the easy version of the quest. And it'll be a, uh, you know, be a simple, quick little process. We're done. Probably make a video out of it, you know. And uh, we could call it a good day, right? Who did I lose? I lost my enchanter somewhere. Where are you at? Enchanter. Where are you? She's right here. Like, I can see her. There she is. But, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just really strongly thinking about it. Like, I got so many materials on, uh, Nomagard. I, I think I could probably just not have to do any farming. And the blue diamonds, right? So that's like a really easy way to max out your jewel crafting trophy because all the uh, diamond and blue diamond stuff is um, 300 plus trivial. So you get points on your uh, on your trophy just by just spamming blue diamond jewelry. You don't even have to enchant it. You just craft it and then sell it to a vendor and you get back, you know, part of the money you spent on it. So, I mean, it's like ingenious, really. And then that, you know, that's that's 300 jewel crafting right there. And then uh, crafting all the other junk <laughs> will get you uh, where you need to go there. Uh, but I, I'm thinking about it. Like, tailoring is annoying. That tailoring's terrible because you have to have so much silk and all that nonsense. But I think I, I think I had a way. I have it written down somewhere of bypassing like most of that by uh, by crafting. What is it? Like, you craft something from one of the new expansions, I think is what it was. And it levels up your skill. But the materials are, like, free. <laughs> like, that's how crazy it is. Like, I'm not, they're not free, but they're, like, free. It's, it's at the point where you can buy multiple thousands of items without, uh, you know, worrying about it. And I got enough platinum now that I think I could just do it and not even care. All right, give. Hail, hail, river. Second. All right, he gave us a bottle. Son of a bitch. All right. Oh, he gave us three bottle, two bottles. All right. We gotta give this guy. No, don't give it to Holdridge. Give it to Dark Alchemist. Hail him. Say River. Say Second. Put it in your bag. I don't. I th don't think we have to click that. Hopefully, we don't have to click that. It's just walk over the spot, right? I'm trying to remember. I did these on uh, Tawani, so I've done them once, but I typically don't really like doing quests that much unless I have to. All right, uh, so let's look at the map here. Go to the rivers near the waterfall. All right, easy enough. We can do that. Everybody's with us, let's go. And I'm still waiting, like they haven't put any of the uh, Persona stuff on the beta yet as of uh, October 24th, but uh, apparently it's more complex than they thought to implement. So may makes me think that 
what they're gonna do is kind of like uh what i want <laughs> like like a full you know final fantasy 14 kind of thing right so um depending on how that goes uh holdridge may or may not become a gnome well we'll see all right i'm over here do i have to click this damn bottle i do i have to fill it i have to fill the vessel there we go we filled the vessel all right which one is this aza yes you're filled and aza here you're filled all right where are we going next buddy uh we're going to the southern end of the river so the other end of the zone it's like it's trying to get us to get like into a fight with something here everybody's with me and we can zoom zoom and i got uh i love the the druid cheetah spell if i didn't have that i'd probably go insane i cannot stand not having bard speed i cannot wait until uh i'm equal level to 20 and i can steal Tawani's bard oh son of a this druid oh wait was she there Wait, where are they? No, they're like, she got like left behind or some nonsense. Cause she's not a gnome, right? Cause she's not small. It's just like so annoying. Uh, and she, like they're, she doesn't have permanent illusion yet either, which is weird. I thought they got that earlier. There we go. Let's make you a gnome too while we're at it. All right. Now they're all the same size, so it shouldn't matter. Like you get hung up on rare, random stuff, as long as you're paying attention to everything. All right, we're gonna kill him. He's gonna aggro. Steal a stubborn stance. There we go. And then track a Rooney. I see two named. I mean, it's the, it's the rules, right? I mean, I didn't make the rule. One of you guys did. So let's keep going. Uh, let's see here. There's a named over there. I don't really want to fight all that right now. Uh, let's like finish this first. And then we'll kill the shaman that's over there. And then uh, we should be good. Oh my God, why am I running so slow now? This druid is like, is she too far away? All right, we're at the other end of the river. Can I click it? No, this one. Do I have to be in the water? Really? At the southern... I'm at the end of the damn river. <laughs> what, what part? I'm at the southern end of the river. I can't think of any other southern end of the river here. Now I'm being attacked by a guy. It's your fault. Does it want me to go to the other end of the fork? God, I don't know. Alright, they're... They're doing business. I'm not gonna even bother with this anymore. Uh, let's see, Beza. No. Alright, let's get out of the water because we're just gonna keep getting aggro from all this nonsense and it won't fill. Um, Alright, we'll check on the other side, but what we're gonna do first is go over here and aggro everything we possibly can because that's how we're. <laughs> that's how this is going, huh? Uh, where is he? He's right here. All right, we're gonna grab the scrapper. I don't want to fight like 10 mobs at once, so Just kind of knock this guy out real quick. Oh Someone else pulled him <laughs> You son of a gun the beast lord all right I guess he got him first all right, we're gonna go for the other one over here then 
room, zoom, zoom across here, and it was the feared, right? So it's this guy right here in this little uh, ranky dink uh, tower, right? Oh, he's right here. Boom. Perfect. How many are we going to get? Because I'm going to take them all. All right. One hand. Mantle. Five. We're going to taunt all this stuff. Taunt it all. We're going to nine. You know what nine is? Nine is AoE mess. <laughs> we're going to gift of life. Make sure everybody's alive. And we're going to just paladin it up. Paladins are what you call perfect in every way. They are true, true gods of EverQuest, I think. Uh, what is this? Junk. All right, we'll just keep killing this one. So the cool thing about this AoE Mez is that it lasts for the same amount of time as a normal Mez. I don't know what the downside is. Maybe it's more resistible. Uh, but I don't have that problem at this level so as you can see we are good we can go back to one hand uh two hand i mean and we use mantle and we used all that stuff so there you go guess i don't terribly suck maybe one day the uh mercenaries will join us and have a good time but who knows there we go uh, helps the turn attack on i suppose right go. Good job. Good job, Holdridge. You have earned your pay, which is zero. Enchanter actually was the heavy lifter there. I thought I was actually going to die. Alright, we got a bunch of junk on us. Uh, purify that off, because you know what happens when you get too many debuffs? You lose your buffs. <laughs> we are buff capped like crazy people, so isn't fun to get lose your buffs all right uh while we're here i see nothing so come on give me holdridge that's what i want i don't care about all you other guys all right heroic leap let's get some aggro on us because we are the tank not these overpowered mercenaries right and he's holding like a stick so what is that <laughs> I guess it's not loot we get. Why is that going in my hand? Why is the loot going into my hand? That doesn't even make sense. All right, we're gonna keep running this way. We're gonna kill this guy right here because he's in our way. I'm purposely killing this guy because when we jump in the water, I don't want him like chasing us in the water and be like, hey, you owe me money. And I'm like, I don't owe you money, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. So we're gonna jump in here. And uh, a shawama. Maybe it's over here. I'm just gonna like go right here and click the. There we go. We filled the vessel right there. Perfect. Um, you can't fill the vessel. Why can't you fill the vessel? <laughs> what is this nonsense? I can fill the vessel with him, but you're not able to fill the vessel. Like. Do I need, like, Paladin Holy Piss to fill this vessel? Because this is ridiculous. There we go. Click it enough times, you get it. Alright, my druid is, like, down here in the bottom of the ocean. Singing a song about being in the bottom. Oh, there's a dog on us. Alright. I'm too concerned about pissing in the bottle. Alright, uh, this one. No. No. There we go. Yeah. You have to just really force it, I think, is really what the problem is. And I'm not, I wasn't forcing it, right? I don't, you don't want to force the piss into the bottle, right? Um, collect the head of Rot Dog as proof. Okay, here we go. All right, that's one. And two. And three. All right, that, maybe that was scripted. <laughs> maybe that was scripted we got attacked by those, because uh, we needed that for the quest. All right, can you guys come up? One, two, and three. All right. Count my dogs coming in the outside. One, two, three. Where's the fourth? <laughs> All right, we're just gonna run down the coast here. Actually, what we're gonna do? 
before that is we're going to check named while we're on the side of the zone. Oh, man. You know that moment when you see a named and you're like, oh, God, I got to go kill it. That's the moment we just hit. So black bone is up. We killed enough of those uh, red bones to spawn a black bone. I don't know how that works, but someone probably knows. And we're just going to ignore everything, right? Until we get right here. Turn around and kill it. <laughs> we, we've become powerful, and... I want to go to a harder zone so that we can not feel powerful, and I can complain about not being powerful anymore. There we go, just mow these guys down. Take their diamonds. Right. I'm guessing how, you know, like the wolf drops a diamond, right? So I'm guessing he ate a, uh, he ate a guy that had a diamond, and we, uh, you know, that's the only way it makes sense, right? <laughs> it knocks us all back, right? Uh, I can't even see. Like, I'm, like, rooted or something. I don't know. I don't know where my other guys are. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, we killed him. <laughs> all right, we got a, an item. We got a leaf of the autumn. Oh, that looks nice. We're going to take that on holder. We'll look at that later. All right. Where the hell is my enchanter? Map, where are you? You, like, went the wrong way. Doing our own thing, right? Didn't we die doing this once? <laughs> uh, I think we died early on when we came here and tried to fight that guy. All right. All right. Come on. Let's go. All right, we gotta fight this guy. <laughs> 135k, uh, slay undead. Turns out you don't get, there's no slay up to, uh, dead upgrades for like a long time, right? I thought you'd get them every five levels, but apparently it's 75, we got our last upgrade. And we don't get a new one until 96, which is like, what? <laughs> so at 96, we get a higher percent chance. I think it ends up being a uh, like 7% chance to do 4,300% extra damage or something like that. I don't know. Hopefully it means a million. Uh, that's like all I care about. Hitting a million and a single hit with Slay Undead. It could be more. I don't know. Alright. Holdridge. Just like almost one shot. <laughs> it's just crazy how fast they're dying. Now granted, I'm I'm chain nuking with my uh my druid and my enchanter, right? Like, it's not just holder just damage here. They're, like, doing doing pretty good damage. I think they're nuking for just about as much as he, he crits for, so... I'm, make, I'm making it look like it's all him, but it's a group effort. It's a group effort. Alright, where I keep going the wrong damn way. Trying to get to the other side of the zone. Can I just evac over there? Like, that would be fantastic. I can. Exodus. All right. We made it. <laughs> I like how Exodus is like you push the button and it instantly works, right? That's that's how things, that's how an escape ability should work, right? You remember like in the old days, right? You Like your, your druid hits evac, right? And you're like, oh my God, we're not going to make it. Cause it's just like the longest cast time in the world and eventually like it goes and then one of your guys gets left behind. <laughs> you know, and you're like, oh my gosh, how did that happen? All right, Rod Dog Head. Um, water collections. And give, speak with him. Explore the gate discovered. All right, we gotta go do more work, I guess. Um, so head, and then the two bottles fill with zombie piss, and 
him, then we hail him, and explore the gate. Easy enough, right? Pretty easy. I think we should be pretty quick on this. And this is like, if you're, if you're soloing, this is so much faster uh, to do, because you don't have to like deal with all these other characters. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. We're good. One, two, and let's go. So we need to go to the gate, which I'm assuming it means the House of Thule front door. Uh, cause this is like the, the quest of, Hey, you should maybe go in there kind of thing. And you're like, well, no, I don't want to go in there. There's too many mobs. And I'm like, I'll have to take that risk. But, uh, let's see here. Let's go this way and just zoom, zoom. Cause this is like right over by that part of the river. I don't know. Like, I don't, it shouldn't say South river. It should, well, I guess it is, the, you know, South, but. Yeah. Whoa. All right. That was not planned. Right, we got to add. Let's kill it. Hundred and sixty-five K. Tell me that's not awesome. Let me look at my druid real quick. Spell damage. Nothing that close. Nothing that close. So she's doing like 29, 26k, 29k. Like my common hits. I, I, that's just like Holder's waking up in the morning. He's like, oh, sorry, I hit you with my sword. <laughs> All right, here's the gate. There we go. Task complete. On everybody. Um. Of course, I don't want to run all the way back over there, so we'll memorize. Secure. All right, we're teleported here. Where we gotta go? Yeah, sure as heck didn't want to make that run back. All right, uh, come on. Hopefully this is the right direction. I one time, every time I run either the wrong direction or uh, I just totally get distracted by something. I'm trying not to look at tracking because if I see a name, you know I, you know the rules. All right, hail him out of there. We go, we finished it, select that. And there's something in the water done. And then we completed, uh, oh, we got a few achievements here. All right, so we got uh, Partisan of Fearot. We got the Mercenary of Fearot. And where's House of Thule? We also got View Mine. Uh, the savior of the fear rot. And then that gives us the trophy of the fearful forest. And then you inspect that and you see that it is a 50 point, 50 hit point, uh, 40 and no, our 150 hit point, 45 poison resist, uh, trophy you can place in your house and your house. Uh, I don't have a house yet, so it's no use to me at the moment but uh i don't even know where it's at i thought it got put into my inventory uh let's see here yeah here it is select got a type reward and we'll just put this over here in this bag uh i'll eventually get him a house um i just don't have one yet so we'll hail him there we'll select that and we'll zoom a little closer. Hail him. Select that. And then type reward on both of them. There we go. Get that. And she hasn't popped up yet. There it is. All right. That is good times. All right. Let's think about what we're going to do next uh, and kind of talk about it. So my plan going forward as we level uh we're gonna pick an item that we want to get we be it an aug be it a new sword or something like that that is our goal until about level 100 at level 100 we're gonna go back into tbm and we're going to finish up tbm uh quests uh right now they're scaling just like it just it's not fun <laughs> It's not fun getting hit for 12k when you probably shouldn't be getting hit for 12k, right? So, um, 
what we're gonna do is do that so the first item i want to get is a shield aug from uh, a guy in argath and we're gonna start this uh next episode so let me kind of just give a preview here of where we're going we're going to argath and you see here it's like all these aliens right and we're going to be killing a lot of aliens the alien in specific we're looking for is this guy right here tactician uh crudicon i can't even read it yeah it looks like crudicon tactician crudicon that is the guy we're going to kill we're going to kill him looks like he spawns in two spots and we're going to kill everybody else around here four spots there's two more right over here <laughs> we're going to just absolutely destroy him and I'm also going to see if there's any other augs in this zone that we can pick up at the same time uh, while we're in here and kind of, you know, have a backup plan just in case we get it for a shot. Uh, this is a shield aug. It's like 38 AC, 80 HP, something like that. So definitely nice. And the only reason I'm going for this one first is because shield augs are kind of rare. Augs that work in the secondary are, you know, not that common. Like most augs do not work in the shield. Uh, so we want to kind of start there and get that. And then we're going to work on, you know, getting augs for all, all our body parts and whatnot. Uh, I might try gribbles here and there. See if I can, if the scaling is too bad uh, on that right now. I think uh, like there's certain levels. It just feels like it's overscaled for your level, but then you ding and then it's easy again. I don't know. It's just very weird. But uh, what we're going to do is do that. So if I go do a Gribbles uh, like right now, uh, it'll the dings will be in the start of the next episode. I'm not going <laughs> to... I think I've done like four videos on Gribbles now. Uh, I think I'm good on showing that content. But that's the plan moving forward. And then we're going to go into the next expansion after... Uh, after that, it's like Call of the Forsaken. Uh, shards landing I know we spent some time there but we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna hunt for specific items off specific mobs and just kind of work our way through that'll that'll give us a reason to grind right that'll give you know extra experience and stuff like that and that'll kind of set us up so that we're you know pretty good long term uh, I expect so it is October 24th I expect on November 7th, we're going to get a 200% experience bonus. Uh, it might even be on the calendar, but uh, let's see here. Go to next month. Um, it's not on the calendar yet, but so EverQuest is doing this extra life uh, bonuses. They're going to go from the 7th to the 14th from what I remember. And this 200% to everything. <laughs> it's like 200% extra rares, 200% everything. So my goal is to get into the 100 plus by the 7th, right? So uh, it's the 24th. So I have this week and next week. And then hopefully then I can then use that 200% bonus to push my way to 109 uh plus really quick and then we can do the tawani swap and get her in here and just destroy mobs um the dps on a monk is insane and i'll have her configured just and just well enough to be able to kill the mobs before they kill holdridge <laughs> so that'll be a goal we have and uh holdridge will actually be able to hold aggro off of it and uh, off of her unlike the uh mercenary mechan um, tank she has in her group right now so that is the plan moving forward the series and uh if there's any zones you want to see you know 90 plus and you want to see a zone you, don't, you haven't seen it before or just questions about it we'll post the comment and i will probably not see it <laughs> until way later but i'll i'll definitely go hit the zone at some point so uh thank you very much for watching and please Please have a fantastic day.